Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to fix the problem of 404. You know, most of you guys had this uh, problem when you go to any random route here in the URL. If you write something, let us go there. It is not going to display us anything. So it should display a 404 page to say that this page does not exist. For now, when I go to any random page, it is displaying an empty screen here like this. So how it works and how we can fix it. This is going to be an easy fix. So if I go to my router here, route in the web, we know that we say if someone go to any route here in the our URL, if that route does not exist, all we need to do is open the index.php, the, the index function here. The index function is of course it is going to be in the home controller. So if I come here opening our home controller and the home, con the home controller, yeah, it is going to display the home view here for us which if I come here, I just want to show you what is wrong here, then I will fix it for you. If I come to the home, this is what we are going to see. Just a basic page here. But why it does not display this one here in the page when we are going to hit this route? It is because in our layout, we never yield any content. You know, whenever you write any section with uh, a key here, let's say content, in your master page, you have to yield it but here in our master page we never yield it all we we use this the router view here and the progress bar which is going to display but we never yield the uh, the content here that's why it is not displaying here this problem can be fixed with the uh, vue.js itself you don't need to write anything related to laravel so here is how you can fix it i will close this and i will open the app.js here in our app.js we have our routes here here is the list of our routes what i am going to do is i am going to duplicate the last one of course we put a comma here and instead of the profile i am going to write a star make sure this star is going to be at the last star is going to represent that any any url when you write it at the bottom it is going to check if it is the dashboard it will display the dashboard component uh, it is if it is developer it is going to display the developer if it is user it is going to display the user component but if the route does not exist it is going to display let's say not found dot view here is the not found dot view component which we have is going to display the 404 for us which we did already okay this f should be capital now it is the exact 404 page it means if we have the matching routes okay just display the proper component if not any of any other component just display the not found here not found that view let's see what is the problem okay no found not found okay, here is the spelling mistake if i save it this time it should compile down yeah successfully compile down this time if i just refresh my page it should display the 404 page for us here yeah here is the 404 page which we expect now if i go to let's say developer it is going to display the developer component to the profile profile component and for the user of course it is going to display the user table here but if i come here it will take a little time to load data from database that's why yeah now it just display if let's say we are going to users info which does not exist let's go here you refresh it it should display a 404 as we expect yeah here is the 404 pitch which is very easy and this is can be done with uh, only vue.js if you have ever developed any app standalone vue.js application just in the last route write a store which says if none of this component match just display this component and this is for the 404 fix if you have any other issue let me know in the comments i will fix in the future videos and thank you for watching